news now. And the uh, West End hit Billy Elliot is celebrating a milestone in a million tonight with the millionth ticket sold since the musical took to the stage in London. Proceeds from tonight's performance are going to charity and backed by popular demand will be one of the show's original stars. I was just like, how is this really real? Like, I, ju I just didn't believe it. I, ju I didn't think I would be in anything so big at my age. Liam Moore was aged just 12 when he was picked as one of the three original Billies in the stage version of the hit film Billy Elliot. He'd beaten off competition from thousands of young hopefuls to win the part. The show, with music written by Sir Elton John, opened in May 2005 and went on to be a smash hit, winning countless awards. The three Billies, Liam, George Maguire and James Lomas, became the youngest recipients of the Laurence Olivier Award for Best Actor in a Musical earlier this year. Well, Sir Elton's hosting the show tonight with Liam returning to the stage in the title role and Steve Hargrave caught up with them both. So here I am enjoying a nice quiet drink at the Victoria Palace Theatre and, and look who joins me, it's uh, Sir Elton John and Liam as well of course here for the, the Billy Elliot musical tonight, the extra special performance of it. The millionth ticket sold I believe is uh, the equivalent Yes I know, well. it's, it's, it's quite an, uh, an achievement and uh, so quickly as well so we're all very excited plus it's a charity event tonight as well and Liam's come down from Hull because he really left in September, this is actually his really last performance mm -hmm. but because it is a charity gala tonight we thought it would be great for Liam to dance, you know, to do his actual really last performance tonight. OK, class dismissed. The extra special uh, occasion tonight as well, the, the top secret thing which we are allowed to mention now, right. is of course we have the X Factor judges yeah. coming in on the show, which I thought was a dangerous thing to do, to get Sharon Osbourne and Simon Cowell, Louis Walsh on. It's a very dangerous thing to do. Are you sure they're going to be all right? <laughs> um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, they are th I mean, it's very generous of them to give up their time and come and do it. Um, but they're loving it. And nothing's like the theatre. You know, rehearse, we've just been rehearsing downstairs. And the camaraderie between the cast and everything. David and I were just saying to each other, there's nothing like being uh, involved in the theatre because um, when you see the rehearsals going on and people talking to each other, especially with this show, the, the cast are very close. And... Um, for, the, uh, for Sharon, Louis and um, Simon to come and do it and makes it just, a, it just livens it up a bit and makes it a special night. So, Liam, you, you are going to have to face the judges tonight. Are you going to have to face Simon Cowell? Do you know what they're going to say to you yet? Have you well, we've rehearsed, rehearsed it and they're still doing the lines from the show. But it's sort of some little gags there that are in a, um, just like gags that come from the X Factor. And it's really strange, like, standing in front of them. And it's like, is this what the contestants have to really go through in it? It's quite amazing, really. Uh, I'd imagine they go well off script. Uh, I've known Sharon. I know Simon, she's like. si Simon might go well off script. I know, and Sharon. But uh, now they know their lies and everything like that. You know, we'll see what happens. Now you mentioned, of course, that the million ticket being sold. And looking back, when you first came up with this musical and did the music for it, did you ever imagine that you would get to this? You, you mentioned there's a lot of competition in London for musicals. We see musicals come and go right. very, very often. Um, so to still be here so far down the line. Well, we, we, we haven't been here that long. We, I mean, we're, we're two years old next May. Um, but, you know, you have to keep the thing fresh. Um, obviously, we keep the thing fresh by the boys coming and going, because there's always a new Billy coming and going. There's always new um, kids coming in to play. Um, Michael, and uh, who's Billy's friend, and, and the girls change as well. So we have a, you know, we keep the show fresh that way. But you've got to keep it in the public's mind, because the people can assume that, you know, oh, you're on, you're on, you're on, and, and people forget about you. And... Um, Yes, we have sold a million tickets, it's great, but we want to keep, make sure people still come and see the show. Liam, you've gone back to school now, is that right? Oh, yeah, How yeah. bizarre going from this life as a musical star in London back to, back to school? Yeah, it was a bit strange at first going back home, but um, I mean, I suppose I've got used to it and I've got a supportive family anyway, so they've helped me bring, bring me back down to ground, but um, I mean, it's really nice to come back and see everyone again. And, Fantastic. Well, we will have a reminder of our top story in just a moment and uh, check out what's leading London's evening newspapers too.